Hello everybody. Hope everyone's having a great day, a great time, and is really, really, really excited about the possibilities of what can happen once you learn how to trade in the Forex market. The first thing that we'll need to do is say that way we want to open up an, a, an account, a demo account. So here you're seeing that as I clicked on this page, open up demo account, and I click on open account. And here is where we will register for an account. So I'll just use my name. So at this point, I'll go back to my Google account. There we go. And I log in. And there you see, I've already received a registration email from them. So at this point, you will activate account by clicking here. And it takes you back to here. Now, we'll click on login. I'm going to do that again. I probably went a little fast. Right up here, we'll click log in. And back at my email, I should have now received a second email. See here it says inbox two. Here's my other email. This is now giving me my password. I have my LMFX connect ID and password. So what I would do here is I would copy and paste those Or just, if you can remember them, just type it over. And log in. No, I don't want you to remember any of that. Cancel that. Not now, and cancel it. So here's where we get to where we get close to handling our account. This is a very simple process. So what I do here is I'll just say manage my accounts. From there, I click on try demo. Now remember, this demo account, this is amount is way too large. I suggest starting with the 5,000. So that's giving you $5,000 of play money. When I click submit, I should receive one more email. So go back to my inbox and that email may not come through as quickly especially on today because I am now, today is Sunday, uh, the email may not come through right away, but it'll come through. So this page here, this is what you will receive in your email, a copy of this. So from here, you can click on the link, download MT4 platform of your choice. And this will be your password, your trader's password. You have your user ID. I'm sorry. User ID will be your ID for your platform. Pat, this will be the password. Your trader's password is the password for your platform. Keep all of this information in your email. Print it out. Put it in your file cabinet if you need to. Because this information will be um, important to you later on. Because from my understanding, you can take this demo account and turn it into a live account and all of this information will stay the same.
Let's check that inbox again. Okay, so we're back here at my email and as you can see my email has come through and from here we can just click on the LMFX MT4 platform or or here click the link to download the LMFX MT4 platform okay for some reason it logged me out uh, so what we'll do, we'll just go back to my tab where I know I'm logged in. Well, actually, I'll show you this. If you get logged out, you just click on log in. And go back to that same email. And you should see your prior email, which gives you which gives you your login and password to get back into LMFX if it logs you out for some reason. So here I'm logging in. Well, I'm already logged in. So you can go here to platforms and if you're on a PC, which most of you should be, you can download MT4 for PC. So download MT4 for PC and save file. It's a fairly quick download there and we'll just run it. So click on yes. Yes, I agree with all terms of this license agreement. And this home page pops up. Uh, this is not the platform yet. It's the advertisement page. And it's also actually it's your economic calendar. As you can see here, it gives us some information about different announcements that may come up throughout the day or in the coming week. So when your terminal opens up, it should come up with your LMFX demo server one, I mean demo server and live server one. If that does not come up, just click on the add new broker and type in what you see here, global trade partners and click scan. And then that should come up for you if you're connected to an internet connection. So now that I have that, I would say I wanted to connect to my demo server because this is a demo account, we'll click on next and I'll click next again as a new demo account. And again, that brings that up, but we'll just minimize that. And now I should be able to put in my login and password from that demo account that we were talking about earlier. And that should be in your email. Let me close a few of these tabs. So again, not this one, but this email with your user ID and trader's password. So we'll input that information. And if you're highlighting, just make sure that you do not highlight anything extra other than just the, the letters or characters that are displayed there because it will give you an error message. Logging in. And as you can see, this is what should pop up if you're logged in. You should hear that beautiful chime. And... Mine's doing a little something funny. I should get some charts coming up here shortly. If you don't get charts, 
the charts that we'll be looking at starting out will be USD. I'll just put them up here. So that's dollar Swiss. That's pound dollar. Euro dollar. And dollar yen. Those are the first four that we'll look at. Feel free to look at others if you so choose. And there, now you have a platform to trade. Um, I'm going to tell you how to fund your account now. So after that's created, you need to go up to, either, if you're on this screen, just go, click over here to deposit and start trading. If you don't see this, hover over funding and go down to funds management. Okay, either way, it's going to take you to the same screen. Okay, so on this screen right here, you're going to choose the amount you want to pay, whatever type of card you're using. And you can use a Visa or a MasterCard um, or any of these other choices, even a wire transfer, which I've never done. I would, I would recommend using a Visa MasterCard because it's going to be the fastest way to get your account funded. So just choose whatever amount you want to put in, whether it's $100 or, or whatever else, you, whatever amount you want to do. Choose, make sure it's still the right currency. Put the name on the credit card, credit card number, CVV code, expiration date on the card. Um, your full name should already be in there. Your email address probably already in there. And make sure your city, street name, and all that stuff is accurate according to the card you're using. I had somebody who started to try to, they tried to fund their account, but the credit card was attached to a different address than their physical address. So um, it didn't go through. So make sure you're using the right address for that credit card that you're using. And make sure you choose your country and all that. Okay. And then you're going to click deposit. All right, and then that's going to take a little bit of time. Um, it may take up to 30 minutes to an hour, and then the funds should show up in your account. Once the, uh, the money is in your account, you can go to account management. So I just hovered over trading accounts and went to accounts management. And um, you'll see here whether your the status of your um, deposit was okay or not. As you can see, I deposited twenty five hundred dollars yesterday into my account, and it's got a green check mark there saying it's it went through. Okay. Now, once your your um, money is in your account, you should already have this live trading account here. So what you got to do is we need to move the money you deposited into your LMFX wallet and move it into your live account. So what we'll do is we'll go over here to your live account account just click on that and then we're going to click on this right here this button is to transfer the money in so click on that and then it'll ask you for your password which depending on your computer and how you've got your computer set up mine automatically fills in the password but you need to put in your lmfx password there and then the amount you want to transfer over and you can just use this down here so if like let's say you had a hundred dollars you just do that kind of like calculator buttons down here and then you click add funds and it'll move the money into your live account okay so that's all you have to do to open up an LMFX account and when you first open your LMFX account you'll receive an email with your password and your um, LMFX user ID to log in to so make sure you're using that um, and those are also that same email they sent you out has your MetaTrader for login credentials which you're going to be using for fusion so just see the fusion trading the fusion product video um, and they'll, they'll walk you through how to set up fusion but just know that the metatrader 4 login credentials that lmfx sent you in an email are the ones you need to use for fusion okay so i hope this uh, video has been helpful getting you set up with lmfx if you have any questions reach out to whoever um, invited you to iml